It's me, Ricky Rick, and today we're at Jurassic Coast. Jurassic Quest is a super fun event where you can learn and see dinosaurs. Come on, let's go say hi. Oh, help! I'm getting eaten by a dinosaur! <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh boy, look how huge this mouth is and all the teeth. He's gonna swallow me! I'm a baby dinosaur hatching. Whoa, check out all these dinosaurs. These right here are for children to ride. Whoa, look at this guy. He's so big. And look at his tiny little arms. Can you imagine trying to grab something and put it in your mouth? That'd be really hard. You want to act like a T-Rex? Come on. <laughs> That's so silly. Well, hey, maybe I should ride him for a minute. Wow, look at me. I'm sitting on a dinosaur. All the kids that show up to Jurassic Quest will get to come ride him. Isn't that so fun? How about I come through this obstacle course as fast as I can? To do this obstacle course, I have to go through one side and come out the other. Are you ready? Here we go. Hello. Oh, boy. Nothing's going to get my way. <laughs> we did it. Oh boy, that was kind of challenging. Check this out. Look at all these really cool dinosaur fossils. Fossils are a preserved sign of life or organism that has turned to stone over a long period of time. And it helps scientists and paleontologists get an idea for what the past was really like. Isn't that cool? They have some fossil beds over here. Let's go check them out. A paleontologist is a scientist that studies dinosaur fossils. Let's pretend that we're paleontologists. <gasps> I think I'm finding something. <gasps> what? Check it out. A truck? That's not a dinosaur bone. Whoa. It took a lot of work, but check it out. We got the vertebrae and some legs. It'd be really fun to be a paleontologist, wouldn't it? All right, let's keep exploring Jurassic Quest. Well, this here is going to be our good friend. Her name is Jojo. Oh, she is our nice. Oh, she she's she can be nice. She can be a little feisty at times. Oh, but I think we got her in a good mood right now. Jojo, come this way, girl. Mm -hmm. Go closer. Get some gentle pets on top of the head. Oh my goodness! Hi, Jojo. Oh wow! Does she have feathers? She does have feathers. Oh, what kind of dinosaur is this? So this is going to be called a Utah Raptor. A Utah Raptor. Oh wow! And how big is she? Now she is about eight foot tall. Now they can get anywhere from about eight to nine feet tall. Whoa. And she is about 13 feet in length from the tip of her snout all the way to the end of her tail right there. Whoa, look at that. 13 feet long. That is so big. Wow. Well, it sure is good to meet you, Jojo. Can I see your teeth? Whoa, that's a beautiful smile you got there. <laughs> now here at Jurassic Quest, we actually give you guys the opportunity to become a dinosaur trainer. So I'd like Ooh. to hand this over to you and you actually can teach her some tricks if you like. Oh, okay. So for our first trick, what you can do is you can make a fist. Okay. And just bring your arm down. Just like you bring it down. And you can just say, Jojo, sit. And click it twice. Okay. Jojo, sit. Oh, Ooh, good, good job, class. Jojo. Now, wow, you, good girl. Now, of course, if you do want to get her back up on her feet, all you have to do is hold your arm out like this. Okay. Raise it to the sky and just say, Jojo, on your feet. Jojo, on your feet. Woohoo! Look at her. Are you having fun, Jojo? This looks like a lot of fun. She's super smart. Now, she actually is one of the smartest dinosaur species. Wow. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh. So she is known to, she can pick up on different emotions. She can reach you very well, and she's actually very good at smelling. Oh, wow. One of you her strong smell points. My hand? She can actually pick up all the pie different things she's eaten throughout the day. Oh, boy. Well, I did just have a cookie. <laughs> oh, what are you doing, Jojo? <laughs> That's so silly. <laughs> oh, what 
what do I do if I feel a little bit nervous meeting a dinosaur? Now that's a perfect normal reaction to have because even I get a little nervous when approaching Jojo. Now, the hey, easy girl. Now, best thing you do is you hold up five fingers up in the air, uh -huh. and what you can do is just press away and just oh. say Jojo back up, and that lets her know to keep a little distance from you if you oh, are feeling a little nervous. That's really cool. Well, thanks for teaching me, Bronco Brian. Now, do you want to see a couple new tricks we've been working on? Oh, I would love to. Now, we've been actually working on this one for a couple weeks now. I think she's got it down, but let me see if I can get Jojo. Ready? Jojo, I want you to turn around. Okay, now, now again, sometimes you're not always going to get on the first try here. Yeah. It's a little challenging training dinosaurs here. But you know what? Raptors are pack hunters. Ooh. So we usually like to work and work together as a team. Oh. So maybe if you can help me out here, okay. just hold up a finger like this. We're going to yep, circle it around to say Jojo, Jojo turn around. Turn around. Mm. Yes, there wow. we go. Girl Jojo. Good That's job, Jojo. That's a good girl. Oh, wow. I hear you have a trust trick. What's that? Oh yeah, so we want to make sure that we always bond with our dinosaurs here. So what I'm gonna have Jojo, Jojo, can you give us a smile? There we go. All right, now remember Jojo, trust, okay? Trust. Now again, this is, whew, it's a little, okay, easy girl, easy, hold. Woo, okay, and that's good enough for me. That is our trust trick oh, right boy. there. Oh boy, yeah, I don't think I'm ready to try that. I haven't been working with Jojo for long enough. <laughs> That's okay, but you know what? There actually is another trick we can actually do together. Oh, okay. Now, Jojo here actually does love to dance. Oh, I love Surprisingly, to dance Surprisingly, right? <laughs> now, what we can do is we can actually hold up our arms up in the air okay. just like this, and we're gonna wave it back and forth, and we're just gonna say, Jojo, shake your booty. Jojo, shake your booty. Shake your booty, Jojo. Oh, there you go. Shake your, booty. shake your booty. Shake your booty. Have you ever danced a dinosaur before? Oh, boy. Good girl. Wow, Jojo, she's a great dancer. That was so much fun seeing all your cool tricks, Jojo. Thank you so much, Bronco Brian. Thank you. And maybe next time I'll work on that trust chick. I gotta get to know you a little bit. All right, I'll see you later, Jojo. Bye. See you later. Oh my goodness, there are so many dinosaurs here and they're all so loud and big. Each time period had a bunch of different dinosaurs. Let's check out the Triassic period. This is a Jagonotosaurus. He can grow up to 43 feet tall. That is one big dinosaur. And check out this Apatosaurus. Oh my goodness, he's even standing in the water. That's pretty cool. If he was standing on the land in here, he'd be so tall his head would touch the ceiling. He can grow up to 75 feet long. You and I know this dinosaur as the long neck, huh? Now we're moving along into the Jurassic period. You know what's known in the Jurassic period? The T-Rex. Oh, whoa, check him out. Look, he's got a snack in his mouth. It looks like he was snacking on the Triceratops over here. Poor Triceratops. Well, I guess that's what it's like in the Jurassic period. Now we're moving along to the Triceratops. Tri means three. And this dinosaur has three horns on its head. You see that? One, two, three. So which one of these dinosaurs behind me is an herbivore? That's right, it's the Triceratops. And which one is the carnivore? The carnivore eats only meat and has really sharp teeth. That's right, it's a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Isn't that so cool, the differences? Now we're gonna explore the Cretaceous time period. This is the newest and latest dinosaur period. This is a Spinosaurus. Wow, it's huge, isn't it? Guess what? They're still discovering facts about these dinosaurs, so they're gonna update this model because they realized that this dinosaur probably walked on all four legs. And as you can see, his legs are too small to walk on here. The Pteranodon is also part of the Cretaceous time period. And these dinosaurs could fly. And its wingspan grew up to 20 feet. 
then it's a carnivore, which means that it eats meat. Isn't that kind of scary? Knowing that there could be a flying dinosaur above your head that would eat meat? Now that we've taken the time to look at a few of the time periods in the different dinosaurs, I want to learn about fossils. How do they know all this fun information about these dinosaurs? Well, check it out. This is the fossil table. Check it out. This is so cool. This isn't even the tallest dinosaur here and I feel so tall and high. There's so much to explore here at Jurassic Quest. Come on, let's keep exploring. Not only can you learn about the dinosaurs here, you can play and explore on them by riding a dinosaur or playing over here in these bounce castles. Isn't that super fun? There's so much to do here at Jurassic Quest. Look at this big Megalodon. Oh, he's got three rows of teeth. Don't eat me. All the staff members are here getting ready to open the doors for the kids. Oh boy, I bet there are so many excited kids out there. I can't wait to meet them. Well, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.